think you are having a hard day? Watch hers. Think of your own safety. Is he responding? Shout at him and shake his shoulders. If he's not responding, clear his airway and check the airway. If he's not breathing, normally call for help. Begin with resuscitation by compressing the chest. If the AED is nearby, bring it. Press the center of his chest, 100 compressions per minute and to a depth of 5 to 6 centimeters. If you want to sign up for CPR, AED and first aid training as well as supplies, click below this video when you finish watching for the link. After cardiac arrest, it's essential to immediately start CPR and continue until spontaneous breathing and a palpable pulse returns, or until a trained healthcare provider determines that further attempts are futile. First, assess the situation. If you find an unresponsive person, assess responsiveness by shaking him or tapping. Shout at him, are you okay? Don't begin resuscitation if the person is breathing, moving or coughing normally. If there's no response, check breathing and pulse. A lot of healthcare providers take too long to check for pulse. Take no more than 10 seconds to check for breathing and a pulse. Explained in detail in my video up here. At the same time, check for breathing by checking his chest movements. You can listen over his mouth and nose while waiting to feel his breath on your cheek. If he has a definite pulse but isn't breathing or gasping, then provide only rescue breathing. Check more on rescue breathing up here. If you don't find a definite pulse within 10 seconds, then start chest compressions. But before you start all this, call for help. If you're alone, call for help and use your mobile phone to activate the emergency response system. Do you know the emergency number for your region? If you know where a defibrillator is located in the building or nearby, instruct someone to quickly get it. For you, Continuing CPR. a sudden cardiac arrest can happen to anyone at any age at any time Anthony Anthony are you okay Anthony are you okay can you hear me call emergency services calling emergency services and immediately starting CPR is critical to the victim's outcome my co-worker is unresponsive yeah we're located at 523 Main Street. Start the CPR. Every second counts. Since the chance of survival and cardiac arrest drops by 10% every minute you do not perform CPR. The AEDs arrived. Having an automatic external defibrillator or AED nearby is crucial 
Since every second counts, you should ideally have an AED located within approximately three minutes of every location within a building unit. I always wanted to do CPR. Are you okay? Are you okay? You, call 911. You, get an AED. Keep your arms straight and lean over the victim using your body to compress the chest. Push down hard. You need to compress the chest at least two inches and push two times every second or 120 times per minute. Want to know how to defibrillate? Click on the video up here. Put your hand on his chest. Imagine a horizontal line cutting across the nipples. Now, imagine a vertical line dividing that line in the center of the chest. Straighten your arms, push hard and fast to a depth of about 5 centimeters. Ensure proper chest recoil, avoid hyperventilation and ensure minimum interruptions. If you've reached this part of the video and you're loving it, type I can CPR in the comment section below. CPR. This is what you need to do to help save a life. The most important thing to do is identify the emergency and activate the emergency response system. You must get help coming to you. This is a time critical situation. Also note where you are. If, if there's an AED, if possible, either yourself or someone else should run and get it immediately. The next step, put your hands in the center of the chest and compress down approximately one and a half to two inches, a hundred times a minute. The easy way to do this is to say to yourself, one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. You continue to do that without any interruption until help arrives. If you've passed CPR training, just identify that this has changed throughout the years and for bystanders compression, only CPR or hands-only CPR has been proven to save lives. Continuous CPR is the goal. Circulating blood throughout the body once help arrives. Identify what has happened to the help that arrives and give them a brief report then allow them to take over unless otherwise directed to continue what you're doing you'll be met by first responders which may include a fire engine a local law enforcement agency and or the local department of emergency services paramedic unit all the people qualified to assist with your emergency will be there in person to apply the best technique and the best service as possible to help save the person in need. Without you doing this first initial step and following the instructions of the dispatcher, once you activate the emergency response system, two minutes of time could save somebody's life. If you want to sign up for CPR, AED and first aid training as well as supplies, click below this video for the link. Save a life by clicking on this playlist.